Smartphones are great, but sometimes their concepts make them look even greater. There's loads out there, everyone wants to say, this is what the next iPhone 8 is gonna look like, this is what the next Samsung Galaxy S is gonna look like. In a market now where we're desperate for some real innovation, these are five concepts that we really wish came to fruition. So first up in our five phone concepts we wish were real is the Nokia Morph back from 2008. Now this was a collaboration between Nokia and at Cambridge University, so it's got some serious chops behind it. It was designed to show off nanotechnology with a bendable, foldable, flexible, sizable phone which could be wrapped around a wrist, pulled out to be bigger, put into various different position shapes and uh, form factors. Uh, it was a real sort of showcase of the foldable phones we're all waiting for. It never actually got into a prototype stage though it was all very much on paper working out but it was something that looked really cool and something we're hoping to see maybe this year or next with the rumoured Galaxy X smartphone from Samsung which continues to tease us with potential in the rumour mill. Next up is the Ply Concept phone from 2008 again, this time conceived by Hideo Kambara. Now, it's been dubbed the Swiss Army Knife of phones with several pull-out sections allowing you to have extra functionality. Now that sounds pretty cool, blending sort of the old school Swiss Army Knife stylings with, you know, a nice new bit of technology. But the pull-outs were quite interesting. There was a gamepad and a dialer, both things that you could pretty much get your head around, but then a printer and a projector far more far out things, all packed into one smartphone with a yeah, controversially looking design to say the least. Now we've seen projectors beamed into smartphones, there was the Samsung Galaxy Beam, the Novo's done one, more recently there's been a Moto Mod for the Moto Z which sticks a projector on the back of your phone but none of them have really taken off and to get it into the size of technology Hideo was trying to get behind is, is unlikely but it could have been our first real glimpse of modular phones, they've still not taken off massively but with the LG G5 and now the Moto Z series with its mods manufacturers are trying to fit more cool tech into our phones so maybe it was a bit before its time but the ply phone was something that we'd really like to play with. Philips Fluid was conceived back in 2010 by Dina De Matter and it blends an interesting merge of phone and wearable. Now bring it up to the present day and wearables are hot property at the moment while maybe no one product has really taken off it is a very interesting market and everyone seems to be behind it back in the day this Philips fluid concept could be something that was really entertaining now it's a it's a fully bendable phone which you can just wrap around your wrist and turn into a nice little bracelet it's quite slender the screen isn't particularly great for gaming or movies it's, uh, it's a bit letterbox for our liking, but it's a very interesting concept. Now, it would require not just a foldable screen though, but flexible components as well, which we're still some way off getting. But we've seen phones like the LG G Flex 2 recently that have sort of tried to push that flexible market. So while we're not quite in the market for the Philips Fluid yet, there is hope that maybe in the next five to 10 years, we'll get something closer to that. Next up is the mobile script and potentially my favourite concept on this list. It was dreamt up by Alexander Mokmalov back in 2009. It features a pull-out screen at the side of your phone, giving you a tablet-sized screen which folds nicely away into your handset so you can slide it into your pocket. This is something I've personally dreamt up as well in my own bedroom when I was a kid going, how can I put a big screen on my tiny little Nokia 3310 phone? A pull-out screen, that's obviously the right answer. And Alexander has done an interesting concept of his own with the mobile script. It gives you a fully touchscreen phone and then this pull-out screen on the side so you can watch a movie or enjoy a game on a bigger screen. The interesting part about this particular display is its use of soft nanotechnology. That means you can roll it out and it's nice and flexible but when electricity passes through it, it hardens itself so you've got a nice flat solid surface to watch your games with no crinkles or ripples. Rounding off our list is the ZTE Eco Mobius, created by the Chinese smartphone manufacturer back in 2013 and the interesting thing about this concept is it actually existed as a physical device, something the others can't claim. Now this is a modular smartphone, not the first one that we've heard about. Google had its project Ava, LG had its it's sort of LG and friends modules with the LG G5 and more recently Motorola has its mods but ZTE's idea was that you'd never need to buy another phone again you'd simply just buy upgrades for the Mobius it would that be an extra bit of RAM that you just plug in a new CPU a new camera a different battery it was just lots of different bits you could buy so saving you money in the long term instead of spending you know hundreds on a new device you'd spend less on maybe just a bit more RAM or a new chipset just to give you that extra performance boost rather than having to completely 
clear out the coffers. However, like Project Armour, the Mobius was also scrapped before it actually made it to us as a consumers. So again, we're out of luck with this concept. However, out of all of them, the modular design is one that is still popular with manufacturers and one which we could well see developed in the next few years. Let us know in the comments below about any concept you've seen that you'd love to see in real life. Or have you got an idea for a concept phone which could blow us away? Do let us know. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again very soon.